Hi, my name is Gabrielle Lindley. I'm a beauty area expert here at Walgreens with my beauty consultant, Claudia Fiorello, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about our new seven minute beauty services with number seven in Soap and Glory. So for our four new seven minute beauty services, we're gonna be using our Walgreens own products, Soap and Glory and number seven. And we also have our cool devices that we're using, the number seven match made that helps us find our foundation, concealer, blushes, and lipsticks. And we also have our hydrometer, which tests the skin moisture levels. So it'll help us find serums and moisturizers perfectly for the skin. So first we're gonna start out with the number seven mini facial. And these should only take you about seven minutes. I'm gonna start out with the number seven face wipes. And what we're gonna do, the first step is cleansing. You want to just get off any excess makeup that's on their skin. So the next step is we're going to use the number seven facial toner. And this is just going to help get rid of impurities before we do our face mask. We're going to be using our number seven instant results hydrating facial mask. And take in mind, when you normally do this at home, you want to leave it on for 15 minutes. But just for today, you want to just leave it on there for a minute, just so the customer can kind of get a feel of the product. Since these services are only going to be seven minutes long, you just want to do a light layer of that. So to take this off in the store, I'm just going to use a spray bottle with some water and a cotton round. Just do a light spray of that, and it'll just wipe off easily. Next, I'm going to be using number seven's Lime Corrector Booster Serums. This is one of our best selling products. So, I'm just going to use two pumps on the back of my hand, and that should be enough. And you want to apply this on the cheekbones, and then you want to apply this on the middle of the forehead, and then on the sides of the mouth. And you can use the leftover just a little bit above and below the lip. Next, we're gonna use a facial serum. I'm gonna put this one all over the face and the neck. It's the Restore and Renew. It helps with lines, wrinkles, dark spots. And what I like about this serum, not only does it work on the face, but it also works on the neck. So the last step to the mini facial, we're gonna be using the number seven Restore and Renew Moisturizer. And make sure when you put this on somebody, make sure you're using a little spatula to keep things sanitary. Use just a tiny amount. So I'm gonna put this all over the face and the neck, just like I did the serum. So this one is called the number seven complexion touch up. I'm gonna start out with the Radiant Results number seven cleansing wipes. Just get off any makeup that they have already on. So here at Walgreens, we have this really cool tool called the Match Made device. It takes a picture of each side of your face and it matches your foundation, concealer, blush, and also, what was the other, lipsticks, perfectly to your skin. So it makes it a lot easier and quicker to help a customer out. So your color is gonna be calico. So I'm gonna start out with foundation, and this is our Stay Perfect foundation. I love this, because it's 24 hours. We're just gonna do a little bit of this. And then buff that into her skin. Something I love about number seven's foundations is we have a very wide color range. So anybody can pretty much find the perfect match for them. So next I'm gonna use the Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. Look up, Hertz. I always like to do two upside down triangles underneath the eyes. I feel like it conceals the area perfectly. And then I also like to do a little bit on the forehead, the nose, and the chin just to keep the face highlighted. And I like to take a brush or a sponge and just kind of dab it in the area. A lot of times if you blend too much with concealer, it doesn't really conceal the area or cover it. We're gonna add a little bit of the Lift and Luminate pressed powder. I'm gonna place a little bit of this under the eyes, on the forehead and the nose, so just basically the T-zone where it tends to get oily. We're gonna take a little bit of the number seven bronzer. And I like to do this after foundation and concealer because it adds a little bit of color back into the skin. I'm going to put a little bit on the contour of our cheek. And I'm also going to do a three on each side of the face. Before the foundation, we also prep the face with our number seven Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing Primer. And I love this because it minimizes all the pores and it makes the foundation last longer and look a lot smoother. 
So next we'll be doing our number seven color refresh. So this is basically just making the skin looking more lively and adding a little bit of color back into the skin. So we're gonna start with our Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer. And I'm just gonna put this like a little bit on the cheekbones and it gives that nice glowy, dewy look. We're just gonna add a light amount of our number seven concealer. And I'm just dotting just a little bit just to cover up and then just dab this into the skin. Also on the Match Made device, it selects blushes and lipsticks. So for Gabby today, I'm gonna use the number seven blush in Peony Mist. I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on the apples of her cheeks. And this blush goes a long way, so you just wanna do it lightly. And another cool trick, if you put too much blush on, is I take my foundation brush that has a little bit of foundation and just dab it right over top, just like that. Next, we're gonna take one of our lipsticks. In the Match Made device, it's really cool. It'll categorize it like under pinks, reds, plums. What other colors does it do? It does dark reds, reds as well. Mm -hmm. So you can find the perfect match for your customer. Last but not least, we're gonna work on Gabby's brows. And I'm using the Archery 2-in-1 Brow Product by Soap and & Glory. And I love this because it has a brow pencil on one side. And then the other side, it has a brow gel, so you don't even need to buy two products. I like to start with the tail of the eyebrow, because you always want to make the tail a little bit darker. So we're going to start just building her arch. And then I like to do a light line at the bottom, and then just lightly fill the rest in. I'm going to use the other side, and it has this really tiny spoolie and I'm just gonna brush on this gel just to keep the brow in place. So now we're gonna start with the Soap & Glory hand treatment. I'm gonna go with the Magnific Cocoa. I'm gonna use a little spatula. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And you wanna do one hand at a time, just so afterwards, once we're done, you can kinda see the difference. So this is gonna get all the dead skin off and make your hand super soft. So I'm gonna use my spray bottle, and we're just gonna spray a little bit on the hand. And to make it easier to rub off, I like to use cotton rounds. So you just wanna dry the hand and make sure you have all the product off. So to follow the hand scrub, we're gonna be using the lotion, the same scent. So I'm gonna put a few pumps on my hands. So I'm gonna run this down the fingers. And then you wanna flip it over, and we're gonna do like a little bit of heart-shaped motion on the palm and then you just wanna bring it through. So now after doing the hand treatment, we did it on her one hand. So can you tell me, do you feel the difference or what are you feeling? This hand definitely feels a lot softer and a lot more moisturized. I really, really like it. I think I'll take the scrub and the lotion. Perfect. So the great thing about these new seven minute beauty services is that they generate sales. If you do about three of these services a day, it's gonna give your department an extra $1,000 in sales. If y'all are interested in these seven minute beauty services, go to your local Walgreens and visit your beauty consultant.